ring. Oh god. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. As like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Government-funded school of privilege. Wow. Interesting. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. That must be cool. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends a team of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future. Yeah, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. And two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Wow, that's very high standards. This must be a very rich school, I guess. <laughs> no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you are if scouted by the school itself. Oh, it's in the road. Okay. I'm standing there to give the ultimate school. The ultimate school. Oh. Standing there to give the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. This kid right here, this son of a bitch. Oh. 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 As you can see, nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Yeah, with your good looks and your awesome hair and your sick hoodie. I wish I had that. <laughs> average on the outside, average on the inside. Really don't have much going for me when it comes to... Hmm. Come on. Come on, dude. Great special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, my favorite movie or TV show, they all just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. To be a the average, is I'm completely average. So, I will even say I'm your everyday hero type. Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. Yeah, but you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But here I am, standing in front of, of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. Still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if, if someone like me can survive in a place like this. Well, seeing the game is infamature and I saw what the uh, why it was infamature. And you're a main character, so I think you can survive in a place like this, kid. Uh, let's stop. 
I got this overwhelming, this have, it's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. It's no wonder I would really feel that way. Nah, I can't talk to you, god damn it. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the... Pre preparation I had last night to get ready for today. Ooh, that's me. Get ready, people. Though. Post Peak only invites the students who are the. Mm, I guess we will. This. What's. What's his name? This. Uh, who are the truly elite in their field. <clears throat> Look at his, um. Messages right there. Let me see if I can read them. Wait. 2010? Like. <laughs> It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. To be fair, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talking about ultimate student beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate <laughs> pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who is also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. He's also the ultimate baseball star. Her, her. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school for a camp. Both teams already had their eyes on him. Wow, he's scoring heavy hitters. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. The rarity in our group. <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. Hey. Ooh. Yeah. There. Talk, damn you, talk. She's what every high schooler girl wants to be. Cute? She's already cute to me. Ultimate biker gang leader too. Wait, what? The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. Him and his Jojo Bizarre adventure hair. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate Jesus Christ! Very picky you are for school. Ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. That's a lot of ultimates. Jesus Christ. You have to be ultimate at everything, I guess. Like, you gotta be ultimate. You gotta be the ultimate man. You gotta be the big man, big game. Ugh, reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top of the bottom. Felt like a tame little house cat who wandered to a pride of life. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who couldn't have find and any info on, no matter how much I was. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. And then, what about those other... Well, new students who uh, were in first seem to pop up anywhere. Who didn't seem to pop up in the mm. Would they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? <sighs> Something's up with the school. I can feel it. Mm. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have any have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me 
got picked to come to this ultimate high school. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the exceptions. Shut up, phone. You have, you have to take one glance at the exceptions, but I don't say why? We recently have a lottery to invite one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. We stole it out plain as day. We got invited by the sheer luck. Honestly, man, man, I probably would. Guarantee for success in my life. I just couldn't say no. But then, I'm actually standing there in front of the school. I start to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I feel like I could feel myself losing my nerve. Back out now. When you have a chance, kid. Back out. Still, I can't just stand here in front of, of uh, the gate forever. Yeah, you're taking up the entire game. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself. I look down at uh, the acceptance letter and crushed in my hand. It said that there'd be a meeting for all incoming students the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't in for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, let's do this! <laughs> I gathered up all my determined like I've done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. And then I immediately pushed down. I cannot do this. Screw that, I'm out. You <laughs> didn't push out. You did? <laughs> no, it wasn't. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. And then he got killed. Assassinated. There's, real, there's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7 10, 7, 10, 8, 7, 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's, a, uh, there's like a full 15 minutes left. Makes sense, nobody else will be here yet. Exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? Well, it takes some time to get I'm trying to play it cool. I will take my first step into Hope's Creek Academy. I was also, it was also my first step towards starting a new life in a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Yes, as I took that first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and uh, uh, to get her into something else. Wine mixing, melting away, then spinning again, and the next moment, everything went black. The men in black have been 
to destroy the world. And like only the gunslinger can do, can defeat him. <laughs> Dark Tower. I kill with my heart. <laughs> That was how it all began, and and how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought uh, to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to despair! Shall I show you the horror explore? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, is there a pause button I can do? No? Okay. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Uh. Okay. I can ning. Just ning. I was trying to sink, I was say. on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. This is pretty normal for me to sound kind of in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but that was how was I doing sleeping just now? This isn't the class or whatever you see before. What the heck is going on? Re Reaction mode. While talking to other characters, purple world. Purple. Ah! Purple world. Bleh! God damn it! While talking to other characters, Purple words, purple, talk, 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 purple, 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 purple words, purple words, reaction mode, while talking to the other characters, purple words, bleh. you can do this, say it properly, say it properly, while talking to the other characters, Purple words may appear, and the triangle button will flash. Press the triangle button to enter reaction mode. Use the left stick to highlight a choice. Then, press the X button to select it. This will begin a new conversation. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. So, this will begin a new conversation. Okay. So, triangle button will flash. Purple words may appear. And a triangle button will flash. Got it. Okay. Okay, I, I'm trying to make sure so I don't mess this up. Can I pause this game? I might want to... I want to change some settings. Because my screen is screwed up um oh this is okay giving presents oh you can give presents in this game while you're while you're in free time you can give people presents simply select the present you'd like to give 
then press the triangle button to give it to them. Fast forward. When dialog appears, you can hold down the circle button in order to speed up the text. Got it? Auto mode. As dialog appears, pressing the R1 button will cause the text to automatically advance. Window on off. As dialog appears, pressing L1 will cause the text window and other UI elements to disappear. During this time, the text will not advance. Press the L1 button again to return to normal advance the text. Confirm advanced text, reaction mode, window on off, auto mode, open help, open transcript. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is it. This is okay. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. Your aim at the object you can interact with. Yeah, you can, but you can press the X button. And press the L, you'll investigate the object. Use the directional button or the L1 and the L1 button to adjust your aim. Why don't you try looking on the classroom? Okay, there's a letter. That's the disc I fell asleep on. I can still see a, a some a some of drool. Oh, I have to clean that up later. Cool, can I let that hey, what's on the desk? Orientation guide. Or some kind of cheap looking pamphlet. And there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Done reading that. Let's keep reading from just wandering in. What the heck? Any normal person that uh, that's where a window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been. And uh, what's it on? And if I were to knock on it, definitely metal, thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Someone carried me here? That's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. And if that's true, it just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows like it might be a student's there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the circle button. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Lock me. 
through the door. Leave the area? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this music's overpowering. No, I wasn't done reading that. This is getting strange. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use a left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the circle button while moving to run. I can run in this game? Also, you can press the triangle button to bring up... Damn, damn it! Press the triangle button again to close the map. How convenient. Okay, stop it. Where do I turn off the... I need to turn off this audio. How do I turn off that fucking auto? God damn it. I really need... Where is it? There's a transcript. I remember there's a transcript. Oh, ah! <laughs> Where'd I go? Fuck. I want to turn off auto and sh- Well, map indicator. Yes, thank you! Can I please- God damn it. Ah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be annoyed by this. I gotta- I gotta find a way to get the hell out of... Oh shit! It's first person! I'm scared! Hi R1. Wait, R1, R1 pause menu? Oh shit, Gum's here! I did not notice you were here! Hi, hi, hi! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome to the stream! God damn it. Okay. Okay. I can handle this. I can handle this. I cannot handle this. I am so screwed right now. When the dialogue box is up. This is first person I'm scared away. Good god, this music is overpowering! Wonder where the red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Okay. Jesus Christ. Press R1 when the dialogue box is up. Okay. Wait, like... Like when I'm here? Can't. Nope, I don't. I, I'm doing. pressing every button. I don't know how to get the heck out of here. I want to change some stuff. Despair Hotel. Despair Hotel? I guess it's a place where people stay overnight, but. Anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Why would I want to go to a hotel that's called Despair? This one's depressing as hell. AD room. It's lost. No shit. The school store, I guess it's not open. Ah, these controls! Wait, what? Wait, what is that? Something, something unlocked. What is that? I saw something. What was it? Nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. I wouldn't assume that was a nurse's office. I would assume that was a stripper place. 
Boys back, a good thing I don't have to go. I wonder why... Thank you. I wonder why there's a gate here. The gym. The gym, the handle doesn't move at all. Maybe because it's painted on! The thought of that? The time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Are you the new student? Yes, you too. Yes, I'm going to go to the new school of the Kibogami Nagakuen. This is the new student. Is it 15 people? And before me were the ultimate students that uh, had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered there. Uh, working at, uh, uh, maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could uh, uh, feel like kind of an aura coming from each of them. How's it, how's it going? My name is Okoda Ka- God damn it. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Uh, it's just a moment. There's something else we must address. Oko, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Hey, kill a kill, dude. To be late on your first date, speak more. I must escort you and you must step to your due punishment. That's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? Well, done. I did it. I r one I stopped. Now what? Now, now there's no time to for freaking introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other? We do not know each other's names. That's a good point. Okay, so let's do instructions out of the way then. Can we move on to whatever else? Sound good? Still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. I guess this is a good chance that I'm gonna get. God damn it! Stop this auto! Wait, did I stop it? I stopped it! I stopped it! Oh, thank god I stopped it! Oh, thank god. Now we can just calm the fuck down. Because I'm sweating. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Okay. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but still, I don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'm gonna start by talking to those five over there. Okay. Aim at the studio and press the X button to talk to them. Which conversation is important to the overall story? Keep the track of how they go. 
like, let's talk to the safe. Holy cow, what's this huge metal hatch? Looks like the kind of thing you see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This is the definitely wasn't here then, but yeah. Let's talk to this TV! <laughs> There's a TV! <laughs> Let's talk to everyone! What the fuck? That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun. Right? Okay, who do we talk to? Fat ass kid. This. Leon. Sayaka Maizono. Maizono Sayaka is. Oh. Um, thank you, Sayaka. <laughs> the way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. So I found my Arizona. When I saw her name in that thread, oh no, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop creek famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. Like the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high demand. And, and appears to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find that she'd be going to this school. Hmm. Sure, she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Wow, put it with that perspective, huh? Oh, uh, not Nagi. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I guess he... I'm psychic! <laughs> Wait, wait, she's a psychic? Oh my god. I will. Oh my god. That's insane. Please, turn off this overpowering fucking music, Jesus, I wanna go to options to lower it down. Huh? <laughs> Kidding, I just have really good intuition. Oh. Thanks. Killed the fact that you had an interesting characteristic about yourself. He's a sharp one. I know. Hey, by any chance. Huh? What? Yeah. It must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, the cook. Uh, Koto. Did. Let's Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? <laughs> Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. <laughs> self introductions are for introducing yourself, not mumbling through a bunch of idle chit chat. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sound like Sayaka really has something she wanted to say. It's not like we'll never see each other again. Uh, as she said, we can talk later. That's good. 
mailbox, there's nothing inside. Okay, since you don't like idle chit chat, why don't we talk to you, asshole? I'm going to talk to That's Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him, that Fred. He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. <laughs> committee, not committee. Basically, he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? <laughs> That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Calm down, dude. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day! Yeah. Yeah. It's worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? <laughs> I'm getting into too much of the character. This guy is kind of annoying. I'm gonna hate you, am I? Okay. Oh shit. What did I just do? Echo? Christ, Toko Fuka Wawa! Fuka Wawa! Toko Fuka Wawa! Ultimate writing! Oh, nice! Hey, you right? Cool. Yeah, she wrote a novel. She wrote a novel. <laughs> By novel, she means Harry Bush the China. <laughs> What's? <laughs> if no one's seen Phoenix Wright Bullshit Evolved, then you won't get that joke. <laughs> she. I will give her that voice. She wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched a literary little, little, little career. We should be 10 years old? Holy shit. When two years ago she released so so lingers the I don't know what that says because the stupid TV blocks it. That's why I want to change it. So lingers the ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women, whammy, that fishermen quickly shot up to the top of every hottest men poll. <laughs> By her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and, and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely dovey type, what, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> dot dot dot. 
Oh my god, are you shy? Is she shy? <laughs> I'm staring at me like I'm a filthy creature. I take it back. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have stared. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I am so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Filthy creature, no. I just fought. I know what you just thought. You just thought that you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't oh, call trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't can stand looking at me. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talked about an inferiority complex. That was way off about that. What I was what a successful offer would be like. Okay, let's bite the bullet and talk to this fat ass. Yamada, Hikumi. Ultimate fanfic creator. Yeah, I knew you were a fanfic creator when the moment I saw your ass. World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known as a pony, well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. Uh, hence sold 10,000 copies, copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I they tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That is definitely pretty remarkable. Wait. <laughs> I just need it. Words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like a god. Oh. The Van Gogh, the Van Gogh, oh. the Van Gogh. Oh. I am a soldier serving me a day to destroy all angles through conception about fan fiction. I'm sure, if you were to observe my work, Miss Zernaidi. You were a couple hand of greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, for my work is filled with deepest meanings. Fuck you, I can relate to you, goddammit. What... What kind of meaning? Smarty! Oh, how embracing our basis urges. Oh shit. I think I know where this is going. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay. Ultimate baseball. Oh. What the baseball do? Recognize that name. What are you? Axel from Kingdom Hearts 2? Actually, I think he is Axel from Kingdom Hearts 2. Look at the haircut. Look at the style. He played for the National High School Champs as their uh, Queen of Pitta, the ultimate baseball star. 
and that's superb another specimen is you seriously uh -huh. huh? what's wrong nothing just surprised I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star yeah. in hand, what you expecting some kid with a shaved head shaved head I was ex just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking, traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you, that's how you looked then. Mm. Yeah! What? Man, you got that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. Nandayo. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. Like, mega embarrassed right now. I don't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulation. No, I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna die my back to normal either. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? What is this? I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced? And he was still his team's his freaking best player? Some kind of prodigy. As soon as I get it got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Dream? Go for the future? <laughs> the only path in life is getting into me. Well, you can tell that star quality all I have, right? Check it out. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we are set. Yes. This new version of me that's chasing up to my dream like super cool to the max. Can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball also. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Okay, I'll let you the audience. Okay, tell me, who should we go with? Who should we go with? Who should we go with? Who should we? Come on. Who should we, who should we talk to? when your heart desires. Okay. I was actually pretty interested to... Kyoko? Who's Kyoko? This girl? Okay, let's talk to her. Hi. Kirigiri. Hi. Ultimate question. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? I like you. You're very mysterious. I, I want to know more about you. Hmm. But you know. My name didn't show up anywhere in that Pope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Good 
this girl be one of them? Ah. Oh yeah. Um, so what are you doing at the school? None. That's not supposed to be. I, I just am you know, getting invited here. I mean, it's, you're some kind of ultimate something, right? What mm -hmm. ultimate something are you? How should I tell you? Oh, bitch, I'm trying to make conversation. I'm trying to be nice, for God's sakes. Can I please talk to you? What? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. I know that has to end up on my so I was thinking maybe she got to take my chance at me, but... This is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no plans. Okay, now it's time for me to choose. Okay, I wanted to talk to Junko Enoshima because this is the girl that's a model or something. I want to know about that. Hello, Enoshima Junko. Please. Ultimate Fashionista. Hey! <laughs> oh. Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista, darling. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Uncle. Are you talking about my cover photos in China? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? <laughs> you know, edited to hell and back with my like, computers in China. So they aren't real? <laughs> Come on. Don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me be depressed. Maji, maji. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. You su you're surprised by that. You'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make your eyes and junk super big and tweak the... the <laughs> and tweak the skin so it looks all cer ceramic and porcelain. Girl, your eyes are big as fuck already! You telling me you're photoshopped as hell? <laughs> Many jeans are being crushed today. Should we talk to you next, gentlemen? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who do we talk to next? Who do we talk to next? Who shall we talk to? Come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Who is up? Okay, I'm gonna do it myself if I have to, if you're not gonna decide. Okay, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Catch up. Tiger. By. The. Toe. My. Mom. Said. To. Hit. The. Right. One. And. You. Are. Fucking. Yeah. 
up. She looks like a swimmer. Yeah. Ayo Asashina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an un up and coming Olympic cat cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Portions has been widely discussed online. Oh. Big ass titties! <laughs> uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Um, Mokoto Nayagi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Well, that's something like that with your dad. Whatever. Ah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. <laughs> What are you doing? Order? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I never heard of that before in my life. Oh. Really? By the way, how do you score the last thing? You spell it exactly like a sound. Yeah, like anyone's gonna know that. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Yes. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sure, same here. Oh, one thing I learned she, is she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello. 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 Whoa, that voice. Ultimate program. Uh... Sorry. I get kinda embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Yeah. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's so bad to meet you, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. Where's my spot? Um, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Jahira uh, uh. Fuji Sucker is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She is the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little funny type thing going. Don't say it like that. You make it more adorable when you say that. Now. You make it more adorable. Which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Uh -huh. Oh, so listen. Uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. What? What are you apologizing for now? Well, just cause you seem upset, you must be mad at me, huh? No, not at all. I was just off. It had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Arigato. That's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't understand why her friends are so into her. She seems nice. She seems cute. I like her. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> nice to fucking meet ya. Biker game in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe from every game in the country. He's the ultimate biker game leader. So, um, nice to meet you, too. Oh, mm. hell yeah. <laughs> I gotta be careful around him. One wrong word and I would wake uh, up at the bottom of the sea. Okay. Those four over there are the only ones left. Oh my god, we gotta go with the girl with the t Wait, no! <laughs> Who's this motherfucker right here? <laughs> what the fuck? And I thought that Kiba's chip was weird. <laughs> oh my god. We gotta know what this guy's story is. Ogami Sakura. Da. Your name is Sakura? <laughs> you don't look like a Sakura, nigga. <laughs> 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 Ultimate martial arts. <laughs> Jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Motherfucker looks like a dude. <laughs> dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! One day, hey, I say something like that out loud in the day. Hey, hey, I turn into a human meatball. My God! Jesus! <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> but now I remember, she completed a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. A girl! Fuck. Okay. I'm not gonna say I'm judging because she looks like a dude, but fucking hell. Just, like... She has to be one of those girls that go to the gym so much and pump in the iron so hard that she just starts to look like a fucking swole as fuck man. Like Jesus. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. God damn! That friend also said a bit more about her. Ugh. Some call her Og. <laughs> Og, she got layers, son. <laughs> she got layers. Some even think she's the closest is is town relative to the uh, prim <laughs> primates, the famed missing link. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn ya right now that if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Yeah, nigga, I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> Landing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Boy. Hey, you. 
uh, uh, yes? I snapped her attention without even realizing it. Even she started poking her out at my body. What are you? Mahrifhod. Muscular quality. The quantity is rare around that of extremely ordinary high school students. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my... Wow. Just wow, you're cutting it real deep there, man. I'm sorry if I if I have noodle arms, man. I'm sorry. I don't hit the gym. We can't be all swole like you. We can't be all swole as fuck. Jesus. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Okay, let's go with this girl with the tendrils. So let's. <laughs> Celestial Denberg. Denberg. Cool. Ultimate Gambler. You're a gambler? Damn. If you're a gambler, you have the best poker face. Celestia Luden. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. So if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? Yeah. Ludenberg. Very Japanese last name. <laughs> I mean, so Japanese. Like, wow. Like, most Japanese name ever. You don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. Guess your Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I'll be much better than coming to that. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one. Pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. Just the rumors in her head were right about her. The self styled Celestia Ludenborg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes. Oh! That explains why she's dressed as that, because she loves Gothic Lalita stuff. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Oh, so she's calling herself Ludenberg, so she's the female Tommy Rousseau, saying she's from New Orleans, New Orleans but she's not, in, not from fucking New Orleans. Bitch. <laughs> They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Lies. Queen of Liars. Can we play, can we play, so you can be the mouth of the face? She's got the love of daughter. <laughs> she totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. <laughs> Look forward to getting to know you better. I'd rather you stay the fuck away from my wallet, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Okay, let's go to you. Byakuya Togami. Togami Byakuya da. And he's not talking to me, cool. That's the most half-ass introduction I've ever heard. Really? I'm sorry. I think we've got less dialogue with what's her name already with the white hair. I've already forgotten her name. I'm so bad. I'm sorry. 
I'm bad at names, everyone. I'm so sorry. There isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Do not get told that man. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial and grow merits. He's already started managing business operations and has his own personal aspects. Uh, well, vast. Title of the ultimate of fluent prop of progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of ex ex exceptional. I can't talk today, Jesus Christ. That's everything I learned about him in front of the hopes of Peak Academy got online. Boy. We're done with the introduction, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Well, sorry, motherfucker! I just had to go and talk to a bunch of people! I had to talk to this adorable, cute little girl that's a bunny-like personality, and this cool model who I might want to be with because she is actually pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that model is hot, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Even with her personality, I might like her. I don't know what she's gonna be like, but I might like her. Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Okay, you know what? The girl with the white hair, even though she barely talked to me, was more nice to you. You can go fuck yourself. As always says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king and king. Hold on, hold on, Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Ultimate clairvoyant. Hmm. She's a clairvoyant, huh? Yishio Haga Agakura, known as a supernova in the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Huh? Okay, I give up. Huh? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Mm. A guardian angel with a crazy parent parent chasing after Bigfoot running off of a skyfish in his mouth. What the fuck are you talking about? And that guardian angel! He's all guardian angel! Okay, this dude's crazy. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were just kidding, you bastard! Well, hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get... <laughs> brewskis! Get real deep in... <laughs> deep in Numeria in a civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink, we're in high school! <laughs> I'm actually... Honey, man? I've been held back a few times. Uh, well, it's a long story. Two times? Yeah, I bet. That is a long story. Especially that hair of yours. That tells a story. <laughs> well, that, that, all the introductions are done. Thank fucking Christ. That was a lot of people. Even though they're all ultimate. Ah, right, damn it. They each have their own individual sort of, um, something. 
Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making fun of those a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. That's true. Well, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. Oh shit. Oh, ah. Ah, God damn it, I'm yawning as hell. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Oh no, this She's cute too, I like her. I okay. For you guys out there, I like girls with dark hair. Well, I see. I thought so. You said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Oops, shit! No, go back! Shit. And when it came to, we were somewhere in the school. That's what happened to you, right? That's just weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! <laughs> and that's not the only thing. We saw where all the windows in the classroom, classes and hallways were, right? Instead of normal glass windows, there was a bunch of metal plates. What's that about? <laughs> There's all my stuff missing, even my cell phone. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere. <laughs> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hat. <laughs> but there wasn't anything like that in the in my first the sky here. <laughs> what the heck? What what they doing here? <sighs> Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off? 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 And we're not actually at school? Mama. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. Uh, this is all just part of the school's... Uh, Orientation procedure. Dave? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it uh, uh, easy for a little bit. So cool. <sighs> so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? That's all yeah. Huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shit I. Ah, I would feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Oh, shit. Nine video one. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. I was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident.
You do not look impressed, Inoshima. Huh? The hell was that just now? Jana. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Oh shit, he just vanished, motherfucker. What the? Hey, what are you... What, you're gonna take off just like that? Huh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to uh, put us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, it was all a joke. I'd be totally... <clears throat> I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. Right. Guess I'll head out to wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. They have to go and kill the mode. Uh, Wait for me, I wanna go with you. <laughs> what is that? Then I will see you all there. Not that no one cares, but I'm gonna go too. Bye Felicia. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. The uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Oh, is she here too? <laughs> yeah, she is. I like her. You sit here. This, this, this doesn't seem right. Yeah, bye, yo. Oh, and you too. Wow. Two girls that are potential waifus for me have, uh, are having concerns too. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. Then, Oh, and you too! Yeah, I, I figured you would stay here too. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to... Uh, to find out what's going on? Oh shit! Fuck! God! I thought you left! Jesus Christ! If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only chance always to, is to push her ahead. I guess she's right. But still. But still, I'm kinda. No. Really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They say they had to go to the gym, right? You want to save data? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do you wish to overwrite? Yes, I want to overwrite. Um, hold the fuck up. So, everyone who has concerns about the gym are you, 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 you. Okay. Should we talk to them? Yeah, bye, yo. Saying the same thing. Let's talk to <laughs> Yeah, no. Let's talk to you. Hello. Leave the area? Yes. That was interesting, knowing the characters and all that. Okay, if I remember, where was the gym again? Was it here? No way. No, fuck. That's not it. Going the wrong way. Uh. It was around here, right? No. 
shit. No, it is in the corner, right? Yeah. I was right. The gym is right here. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm pausing here. Because I gotta pee and probably get a snack. Yeah. So wait patiently. And uh, leave a... Uh, uh, messages on the chat and tell me how you're enjoying the stream so far. Okay? Bye-bye.
Did you scratch that? Did you throw that? I'm back with good tidings of snacks. And done with peeing. Let's read what you guys been talking about. Because this sounds like a game I have to eat stuff while reading. <laughs> um, okay. I'm loving this stream honestly. Since I beat the game, it is cool to see someone freshly experience it as I have. Ah. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Story time. Story time with Nehru. Um. <laughs> I have... Heard of Don Gun Rope, uh, Ronpa. Uh, <laughs> and um, a lot of people, I didn't know what this show was about. I never did. I just, I heard of the anime. I didn't know there was a, I didn't know there was a game about it. I didn't know this was made by NIS America, which have made games I love playing, like Disgaea. And also Akiba's trip, obviously. And so, I didn't know much about what this game was. So, I kept it that way. <laughs> and so, after hearing much less about it, it's an interesting experience to not know what's going on. But all I know is, is that damn bear... That I keep seeing everywhere. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Right. Uh. All right, I need to put this mic under my shirt and back, and now it's hanging so my voice can be up here. Good. Check one, two. Check one, two. Let me try to check again. <laughs> Did that good? Was that good? Well, it's shit, but whatever. Okay, let's continue. Oi, oi. I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. I really ain't that much different from the time I went to Juvie. Oh, oh hell, this place is even worse. Worse than Juvie? Oh, is that like seriously not good? No oh, shit, it's not that good. They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. <laughs> All we can do now is hope for the best to prepare for the worst. Nothing venture, nothing game. <laughs> it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey! Where is whoever called us here? Oh, no, stop! No running! Dude. I shall go to Hey, wait! Don't leave me here alone! Hey. Time for some tutorial action. You can press the triangle button to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. No, I've read it already, asshole. Thank you. There, see it is. Oh, God. 
They are 2G. They're just cardboard cutouts. Holy shit. Hello. Display case. They have all kinds of cookies and East shit inside. Of course, all the students who go here are open, right? This is probably just a tiny fraction of all their rewards. Being a bad guy right now. I'm trying to see what it is, but I should look over. Where are the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Blah blah blah. Total silence, no shit. Staying calm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one right here again. Guess we're going to the gym, everyone. Ah, jeez. Mm. Still feel. Filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and we, we went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. The most ridiculous shit I've seen in my life. It really does look like an entrance ceremony. Ooh. See? Told ya! It's totally normal. Entrance ceremony is stuff. That was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. I Um. Ah, CGI! Holy shit! What the? F Nope. 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 Fuck that. I'm done. Fuck that. Nope. It's a whole lot of nope. 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 <laughs> it's a whole lot of nope. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Where's my refund? I want a refund. Right now. <laughs> Come on. I bought this game. Clearly I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Calm down. It's just a teddy fucking bear talking. In a goddamn school. You know what? It's Japan. Anything's possible. <laughs> really? Then what do we call a fucking thing that looks like a bear with ears and shit? Monokuma. <laughs> This fucking bear is the headmaster. All right, I'm ready. Mm. Mm. Was the strangest thing I ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. 
I was seeing was utter. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and a carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Fear? For a goddamn teddy bear? Ah! Ah! Jesus! That TV bird can talk. Calm oh, down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside. <laughs> yes, it moves. Shut up. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote controlled toy or something. Come on. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? Eve. Eve, you've got me deep. Deeper than the Marion Trick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the remote control system is complete. Well, it's so complex. Even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. Come on. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. I'm done. I'm done. He made a bear pun. I'm done. Fuck this shit. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. No. 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 Just no. 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 Just one more hit from the bong. All right. I'm cool. No. Bear that. Really, you are unfortunate. Hey, no. Now then, moving on. Ooh. We must hurry and get sorted. Anka! Hang up already? You know those stupid bear puns? Ah, thank you, darling. <laughs> quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. <laughs> he has abandoned the gag. Ohayo, good day, Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And. Ohayo, good day, Jesus Christ, dude, are you that excited? God! Money. You don't have to say it back. <laughs> you are. Now then, let us commence with a most noteworthy and memorable entrance in ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be. Now, ah, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hopes, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in their harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of this school. Huh? Hey, and now then, we're going to the end of the day of this communal life. The reason one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been inside. <laughs> what did you just say? Until the day we die? Mm. But fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common and conveniences. <laughs> That's the least of our worries right now. It? What the hell are you saying? I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? And I'm screwing with you! I am no liar of that you uh, it can be 100% sure! So, so. And, just for your information, you are completely not uh, off from the outside world. You don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond those walls ever again. 
What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Cut off? All those metal plates all over the school? They're there to keep us trapped. Oh fuck. Uh, I messed up. They're here. They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you come, may yell and scream for help, help will not come in a good way. <laughs> with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Oi, oi. <coughs> that voice is killing me. Come on. What the hell is this? I, I don't care if, it's, if the school or whatever else is beyond in the wall. This is just a really bad joke. Damn me. Cut this shit already. Hey, it isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. I guess you can't help it. <laughs> I all grew up in uh, the same... Uh, <laughs> talk right in your room. Yeah. You grew up, all, grew up in the age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whatever, not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeball that I speak the undeniable truth. So not... That is... Ugh. This voice is hurting me. <laughs> Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh now, oh no. What's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, did you? Now, before the exit ceremony even finish, you've already decided you want to leave? I know me! I guess it's difficult to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Headmaster, I've created as headmaster, I've created a special cause for those of you who would like to leave. It's the graduation clause. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. I mentioned it in order to an environmental environment of harmony here. We are like a communal lifestyle. If someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation. None. Mm. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, one person or to murder another. Murder? Murder, 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 murder. Hey. Stabbing, strangling, burning, crushing, hacking, turning, sniping. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's <what I> <laughs> you the most outcome in the worst way possible. Chill, shot down by Scott. Just kill somebody if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> That that got your brain juices. 
That's the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? No, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna ignore that one. As I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, they can help you if you need to murder Get this dirty! And I just find that so damn exciting! What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it? Huh? To kill each other? Just to kill each other. I'm sure there's a fiction over here and so much we need it. You know what I mean? That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? No! Stop blabbering all of the nonsense! Just get us home! Let's go home already! Blabber. Blabbering, blabbering, what do you mean blabbering? Blabbering about blabbering on? You guys just don't get it, do you? gonna keep this up. Mm -hmm. Dabi? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? So, yeah, because I mean, you know, this is also kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, right? Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Ooh, that voice is taking a toll on me. <laughs> I should have done water before I left. I'll do it on the next save point. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Mondo. But his voice rumbling like thunder. <laughs> Listen up, asshole! This shit's going way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What Joke? What do you mean? Like your hair? Oh shit! Shots fired, son! Motherfucker just got fired shots on his hair! Ooh, burned! He got burned, son! Wanda <laughs> roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. The sound of the full board as he kicked off air and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokumo fast and straight as a bullet. Yeah, he locked onto his tail. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! A toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. Yeah, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. I'm going Come back this time. Stop that goddamn baby and say something! 
Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Oh, fuck. It's a bomb! Hurry up and throw it! Do you know if her ferocity stunned him into silence? Or what? But without a word, he did what he was told. It threw Monokumo. And as soon as he did... That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ring in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it was in real life, I never seen anything like it. You know, this means that the saber has been destroyed, right? Told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Mono. Uh, there's, a, there's a, another one? Son of a bitch! You seriously try to kill me right now? Mojito! Oh yeah? I was seriously about trying to kill you. You violate one of the school regulations after all. I'll let you off of a warning this time. You better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't be off just a little what? but Yeah, bye, yo. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Mm. Oh my god, I've been pissed all throughout the school. <laughs> Don't forget. Uh, hey, the surveillance camera is installed everywhere. Uh, and if you are caught breaking three rules, well, you just saw what happened, right? Boop, boop, boop. Now, won't be so forgiving of my punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Like punishment, that's just that's just wrong. Yeah. Wow. Well then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry to our school, I have a little something for you. Yeah, yeah. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? You can see it fully digital, so naturally we call it the E Handbook. E Handbook? E Handbook. E, e. This motherfucker just basically gave me a nook. Basically. <laughs> yeah, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school environment, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Boop, boop, boop. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. There's so many more uses than that. Like the vibrator setting. Nanto. So, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, hell keep on taking. Man, I wish I had that. It takes two of space and design, it can withstand an impact point of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. I'm scared to feel like that E handbook is gonna come into play for why it can't be broken. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Uh, rules are strict, yes, but they also protect society, for example, will be utter chaos with law laws. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial to have strict punishments in place for violators. 
<laughs> okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life. See ya! And with that, he is gone. Like, like an angel's kick. Leaving us all in a state of shock. Guys. How would you define what we just experienced? A oh, fucking weird? Wow. Why? I don't understand any of this. Huh? Uh, I you forever? A kill? No, no, no! What just happened? What just did that? Everyone, we need to just calm down. Yes, young Coco or Heckman TR knows what's up. Let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on, the, based on what Mono Kumo said, we essentially have two choices. As, as number one is that we just we stay here living a real life together until the day we die. And the other choice is we want to get out of the we have to kill someone, right? Okay, I know this bitch is not gonna gamble her life away, so I think she is totally gonna kill someone. Someone <laughs> reducted out of nowhere, stepped into the, this place that is meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is. This is. This is just. What is this? What is this? God. <laughs> A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things I've heard, this is all has to be fake. <laughs> right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or not. What matters is there anyone is there anyone who seriously consider in all of this? And that Nobody had res had a response. Keeping quiet to myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at me. Trying to grab each other's hands. I had to listen. I realized the truth to our enemy. Which had come out of nowhere to raise me, and I hoped so hard. Not school. School. Prologue. Welcome to despair, motherfucker. Surviving students 15. Oh god. There's gonna be a count? There's a counter? Holy shit. Find on Rapa. I don't know what I said. Nice opening. Is he eating pancakes? 
ठीक So after that depressing shit and all that thing, you know, with you just um tell me, hey, you know, you're gonna kill someone. You just put that little stupid eight bit chime on me, like, hey, you got a school crest. Here's a present. You want me to be happy after hearing that? Did and then anything? Go fuck yourself. You can go fuck yourself, game. Trophy earned from zero to hero. Okay, time to read the chat and see what is going on, motherfuckers. Wow, oh, gum's been on. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. Who seems a waifu to you so far? Actually, who are the characters you like so far in general? And yeah, good luck dealing with people dying. Bright side, the trials are so fun. Good luck with people dying. Thank you. So, basically, should I not be attached to anyone? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, fuck. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Previously on Danganronpa. Uh, <sighs> my mind froze. My breath caught in my throat as I re re thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. A hair hung heavy on me, pressing down like a wave around my neck. I took everything I had to endure the weight. Behold, chapter round, turns around, down alive! Hey, and we're back here. How the fuck? <laughs> but for as heavy as the air felt after that fucking title sequence interrupted my monologue, thank you. And all, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. What are you gonna do now? Ne. Just stand around, glaring at each other? Fuck. You, you, you don't waste time, do you? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. She helped pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right. She's right. Sometimes even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward and kill a motherfucker! <laughs> forgive such a simple fact, I can forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> Please, someone hit me. 
I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Jesus Christ, dude, calm down. Huh? Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. That. But what is the mission exactly? The mission is to fuck as many people in this room as possible. No one's gonna get laid anytime soon, so technically you should get laid while you can. Black. Idiot. To look for a way out, duh. Honey. We told him to find whoever was this controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. If you want to know who are one of my waifus so far in this game, dumb, she's one of them. I actually kind of like her. <laughs> I actually kind of like her. <laughs> oh, gee. Before you do all that, maybe you should take a look at the handbook. She's cute too. But, I don't know. Feels like you'd be treating her more like a little sister type of thing? I don't know. It depends. I don't know. So far, it's, uh, what's her name? Inoshima or something. She's cool. <laughs> I like her. Her, she's cool. She's nice too. Uh, she's adorable. But, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let it play out first before I can truly say a waifu. So far, I'm just going by the look and so far what their character is about right now. Probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. Sure, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Welcome to iFarm Online. Please select the name of your character and the uh, gender you wish to associate yourself with. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. <laughs> Gum. I'm not trying to say she's my waifu. Okay, I know, I mean, already if you have the hots for her, that's cool, that's fine, that's cool. I'm not saying she is, I'm saying I could treat her like a little sister, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying she could be my wife, though she's too adorable for that, but it's not certain yet, okay? We're not assuming anything here. Let's not run around and say we are going to do that. Okay. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. <clears throat> From the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regu regulations icon. Itemized list appear on screen, which is the school regulation. Yet yeah, no shit, Sherlock, thank you! In other words, the rules being imposed on all on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is UNACCEPTABLE! Use of time. Did I kill your ears? I hope it did. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your, di at, at your discretion. You can horror explore if you want to. Violence against Headmaster Monokumo is strictly prohibited as is destruction of surveillance and its cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and with grit will graduate unless they are discovered. 
additional school regulations may be added as necessary. If you're wondering who is one of my favorite characters so far in this, Monokumo is fun. <laughs> He's an asshole, but my god, I like him. <laughs> Monokumo is pretty fun to be with. <laughs> He's a dick, but he's an enjoyable asshole character. It's those asshole characters that you love to watch being a dick to everyone, but you hate him at the same time and you want him dead, you want to strangle him. But man, is he fun. <laughs> Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Who are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. Oh, you are a gambler for sure if you do that. But if, if he get if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think they'd be a, there'd be a respawn waiting for him. <laughs> oh. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. Duh. So what? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> None of that made much, much sense to me, but you're saying you will follow the regulations. Is that it? So huh. Oh, well, yeah. I guess you're right. Hello? Potential waifu number two! <laughs> Sayaka Maizone. Sorry, I'm I have a idea, but not a question. Uh, uh, regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black in will graduate unless they are discovered. We're talking about the second half, where it says, unless they are discovered. I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> it's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. <laughs> but why? Why do we have to do that? <laughs> Don't see any reason to worry about it. I'm more afraid about following the rules as they do in the Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Yada yada. <sighs> Come on, stab. Mm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Yes. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Mm. We need to find out what exactly we are. <laughs> Any way out? What about food? Supply? There are tons of questions we need to answer! Damn straight! Okay then, let's all start looking around. <laughs> I'll be going alone. Huh? What? What? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? <laughs> Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should skin around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. We would never... Don't bother saying it. It couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? What? <laughs> I'm simply acting in accordance 
best of what I think is best for me. Hold on. Like, hell, I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. Nanda. Out of my way, Plankton. <laughs> the fuck that supposed to mean? You mean it. I'm trying to do the Plankton just in the cost of you. I mean, still so insignificant. They couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. Gonna kick your ass! Stop it, we shouldn't fight! Uh? Fuck you, just say! You some kind of goody goody you little bitch! Jeez. You think you are talking to me like that? Do you think you are my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't! I Fuck you! Yeah. Jesus Christ! Wham! Am, starring George Michael. He punched me. The motherfucker punched me! Fucking punch me. The fuck? Mm. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. The second I was standing there, the next I would is, uh, is going for the air. Soaring for the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'll, I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. Any common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all of those ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before I finally cut out completely. I found... When I finally opened my eyes, again, what I saw was my nigga. What? Uh, huh? Where am I? If it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the square button. You can use this menu to check the school gu- Oh. Whoa. Ah, there we go. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. Certain points, map, and truth bolts may not be available. You can also save a game and data under the... Finally, click the touchpad button to review the transcript. Alright, its records are pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Okay. Whoa. Oh shit. Wait, what's this? 
some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Well, you have one set of clothes, so yeah. Yes, let's look at the trash can that I dumpster dived in. Ah, an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of out of a door hidden compartment, trap door hidden compartments or anything. Oh, whoa, I got a coin. I don't know what it's for, but I got a coin. And this must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. Ugh, isn't it still anything particularly strange about out strange out the bed? Okay. What else? A notepad. Guess the school must be a good one uh, to each of us. And of course the metal fucking doors. Yep. All right, so <sighs> okay, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> the stream right here because I'm very very tired right now and I need to sleep if I continue playing this game even more longer I might pass out so I might continue this game tomorrow morning if anyone's up for that and watching me play it I don't know but who knows I don't know what time it is I will let you know when I tweet about it it will be on the same thread as um as I tweeted my link to my uh, twitch so, uh, this was pretty fun, pretty interesting, mysterious, I like it. I'm glad that everyone picked this game over Last Guardian. I mean, yeah, I love Eco, I love Shadow of the Colossus, but, you know, I already know what this movie might be about, and I'm thinking it might end sad as hell. But, we have, um, Scary Ring Girls. Grabbing you on the mall. Yeah. I take you back where the other babies are. So you can go and preg them when they get older. Right. Every <laughs> anyway. Uh uh anyway, um <laughs> uh thanks for watching the stream. I hope you liked it. Uh I really had fun, so um, thanks again for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao darlings!